All right, so as you can see, those fights did not go well for me. I'm low on hit points. Um, naturally, uh, every 75 seconds or so, you'll gain back some hit points. All right. <clears throat> if you are resting by typing rest, uh, you'll gain slightly more hit points than if you're just standing up. Uh, and then you can also sleep. Uh, you can sleep anywhere. Um, however, if um, hostile mobs uh, come across you while you are sleeping, uh, you will uh, they will attack you. Okay, um, to wake up, type wake. All right, and then you need to also stand. Um, as you can see, because I am hungry, uh, I did not get back many hit points. Uh, so it's important that you always have some food uh, and water on you. So I'm gonna adventure around here and get some gold coins, and then show you how to get get back to the town. Alright, so if I check my score, um, I've been adventuring around this newbie zone for a little bit. I have some experience points. I have 62 gold coins. Um, and as you can see, uh, my character is hungry and thirsty. So I need to go back to the city uh, to purchase some food uh, and to get some water out of the fountain. Um, so I'm in the hallway, so I need to make my way uh, generally back to the west uh, to get back out to the field. Uh, from the field of Midgard, go uh, south. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six spaces south uh, to get to the market square. One space west to go to Main Street. And then one space north to get to the bakery. Uh, the baker is one of the vendors in the game. If you type list, it's going to show you the items he has for sale. Uh, the first column here shows you the item number. Next column shows you the number of those things that are available. Uh, the actual name of the item itself. Uh, and then finally the cost in gold coins of the item. The easiest way to buy an object is to type buy and then select the item number from the column. And then push enter. Uh, as long as you have the gold coins, uh, you'll you'll buy the object. I'm gonna go ahead and buy uh, a few things of these uh, Danish pastries so that I have food, uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and type eat pastry. Uh, if you can, always eat enough food until it says that you are full. I know that I have some uh, from the baker. I'm going to go south uh, into the armor. I have 95 gold coins after I sold an item real fast. I want to buy this pair of leather gloves, so I'm going to click buy eight. Now, obviously, I already had leather gloves, but this is just to show you how to uh, buy the armor. Uh, so I'm going to go north from the armor, east, uh, takes me to the market square, east again. Uh, will take me to Main Street on the east side of uh, the Market Square. Uh, if I go north from the first one, uh, it takes me to the grocery, or excuse me, the general store, uh, where there's some items there that I can purchase. I'm gonna go south back to Main Street, east. Uh, south again is the uh, guild for the warriors, and then north is the weapon shop. Uh, if I look at my inventory. Right, I have a weapon I don't want, the sword, uh, and I might be able to sell the staff here. So I'm going to click, or excuse me, type sell sword. So it shows me how many uh, coins I get for it, 
Uh, and it shows that the uh, item was transferred to the shopkeeper's inventory. I already have a good weapon, so I'm not going to bother uh, buying a weapon here. So I'm going to leave south. I'm going to go east one more time. All right, it takes me to the, the inside the east gate of Midgard. And I want to go south. And that's going to take me to the water store, or the water shop, actually. Uh, so there's a few items here that you can purchase uh, that will allow you to fill them with water from the fountain. And you can use that uh, so that you have water to drink when you're adventuring. So I think I'm pretty broke. Uh, so I have enough to buy a bottle. All right, first I can drink from the bottle. And eventually they should, there we go, uh, they should empty out once you drink enough times. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get back to the fountain and then to fill up whatever you're using to drink from. Alright, so uh, like I said, I'm going to show you how to fill up the water bottle uh, from the shop. I'm going to head north. I'm going to head west back to the market square. And then north one more time to the temple square. Uh, you should see a large fountain. Uh, it says car from Blue Streak Marble is here. I want to fill the bottle from the fountain. Uh, and you only have to do that once to fill the whole uh, container. Uh, so that's how you, uh, that's the easiest way to get water. Uh, there are some spells uh, later on that you can get that will create food and water. But um, once you get a canteen or a bottle, just fill it up at the fountain every time you come back to the city. Uh, and that is um, the basics for single player. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, on how to join a group uh, and then adventure with friends uh, if you can get other people to play um, Definitely makes the game a lot easier uh, When uh, you can you know have, have a teammate. So that's the last thing I'm going to show you how to do I hope you enjoy it. It's an interesting game and it's, it's definitely a different pace compared to what many students are used to So uh, just give it an honest attempt is all I ask and then complete the survey. Thank you